What's up guys and welcome to Monster Hunter World. Easily one of my most anticipated games in a long time. I love the Monster Hunter franchise. I uh, played Monster Hunter Freedom Unite I, till the end. I beat everything you can beat on it. It's one of my all time favorite game series. It's incredibly fun and this is going to be an incredibly long series. Hope you guys will enjoy it though. If you do feel free to press that thumbs up button and subscribe because like I said this is going to be a very long series I'm sure um, I haven't really noticed not noticed I haven't really kept up on anything with Monster Hunter World since its release I kind of wanted it to be a bit spoiler free for me I didn't play the beta or anything like that and uh, this will be the um, single player side but I definitely want to try to get some buddies together to play this online with to do some onlining uh, hopefully I can do that in the future but for now we're gonna fly solo and let's just start this bad boy out I've been so stoked for this I apologize for not getting the game right on release but unfortunately I wasn't able to um, so now I have it though so now we can play it and so hopefully it will be as amazing as I hope it will be so anyway have you guys been if you guys I'm curious to what uh, what might be your favorite monster hunter game mine was uh, freedom unite but I really liked generations as well uh, monster hunter is actually one of the main reasons I bought a uh, 3ds it's to play monster hunter because I like I said big monster hunter fan the only one I really didn't like that much was the Wii game and that's because of the Wii plain and simple I'm not a fan of the Wii so I've been waiting for this Sisters. game to come out. Oh, nervous? Believe you me, I get it. Anything could happen to us, but hey, that's yep. happened. Uh. Hey, aren't you one of the A-list hunters? What? No way! So are we! Hey, tell us your name. Okay, so I think we're going to get into uh, character creation. The one thing that I'm really hoping about this game is that it sticks to what Monster Hunter is, which is just going out, doing quests to get uh, to kill big monsters, to get more gear, to kill bigger monsters. That's like the fun thing about Monster Hunter is the grind and the progression that the game creates. If they want to add a little bit of a story, that's fine. But like I said, I hope the core mechanics and gameplay of the game follow that of the original. You can change the background. Why does it matter? Okay, um, presets, so we can just build a preset character, no, let's build our own character, um, my god, the chin on him, uh, I don't know, I just, I've always kind of like when it comes to character creation, like the face is pretty good, I think, just for a blank slate. Uh, let's go for skin. I'm a I'm a pretty pasty fella myself, so I think we're probably just gonna stick with that age. Oh, how old can we go? Go pretty old. So let's, uh, let's be kind of grizzled a bit. Bit. Let's let's seem some uh, some more wrinkles. Oh, uh, what's Max look like? Eh, it's a little much. Like I said, let's be a little grizzled here. Change your skin color. Wait, what? It's actually kind of weird. Sure, that's fine. Um, hair. What we got going on here for hair? I've never like. Oh, we can get the hawk going. Too bad we're a little older. So they don't have like a old kind of grizzled guy. We are not like a monk. I don't know why I'm honestly, because, well, I guess it could probably use us in cutscenes. 
Which is what makes me kind of want to be a little picky with my hair style. I guess I kind of like this. Change color. We are going to be a silver haired fox. If you ask me. Ooh, I kind of like the white though. Yeah, let's do that. Um, confirm abrails. Kind of like that. There's definitely a lot more, uh... There's definitely a lot more, um, character creation as opposed to the last game. I think we just go with this. Your kind of stereotypical eyebrow here. I said we've seen some things, man. Oop. We want that face that says, I've seen some things. Sure. Uh, we definitely want to match our silver foxitude. Yeah, these first videos of the games like this are probably, without a doubt, the most boring for people. Because, uh... Uh... Clint Eastwood. Uh, because of the character creation, I can see where it would definitely be boring for some people. Because, I mean, it takes up a long time. Uh, a lot of these eyes are terrifying. <laughs> I think I just want your st stereotypical eye. Well, yeah, there's, they've seen some things. Position them. Oh, what? I don't know, how narrow can we go? I think we want a nice middle with both of them. Wow, you can even do the eyelash. Uh, you can have dual colored eyes. Oh yeah. We have seen some things, man. Yeah, let's go do some funky eyes. Uh, nose, I don't even know why we care. Mouth. What? Oh, there's some big lips. Um, sure. Eh, I like one. Facial hair. Yes. Oh, the moustache. We moustache in it. Kind of like the big mustache. Oh, there we go. Get the Lemmy going on here. And we want it to match our beautiful silver foxen. Confirm. Makeup? No. Well, is there like scars or is it actual. What is this nonsense? Okay. Um, expression. I don't like any of those, man. I guess that's probably the best one for our character. Chloe, what are you wearing? Oh, they're all so bad. That, that's the less offensive one. Let's do black on black here. Um, voice. Alright. 
Yeah, that makes sense. That feels like it fits. Default armor. Chain mail. No armor. I think let's go with leather. And we are done. Enter my name. Mick. Slash. Bloop. Is his name okay? Yes. Yes, it is. <gasps> We get to create our cat already? Awesome. I didn't realize we were going to create our cat already. We want a black cat. We want a fluffy black cat. Or we want... This really bothers me, honestly. The fur thickness thing. It looks weird. Let's get a fluffy one. Really long hair. Then, sure. Um, pattern. I think we like the the regular. Ooh, can we get like a black and white cat? Oh, yes. Yep. This is... We get a little bit of red in there. For good measure. We'll go white again. Ah, uh, some. I can't believe we're getting to do our like fix our cat already. Oh, he has seen some things. Yeah. Okay. This one's like just down and out, mad at the world. This one's like, yeah. Okay, I'm all right. Which red do we use? I guess you can't really honestly tell the difference. He's going to match our eyes. I, I, I don't think we want him this furry. It looks bad. I think we want like medium hair. I guess we want a medium thick. Yeah, now it doesn't look as bad. <laughs> um... Ears. On this one, honestly, I like the default. Tail. I can already tell you I like the regular one. Clothes. What are we? Yeah, we're black on black, aren't we? So, keep it the same. Yeah. All right. I like you. Default armor. Confirm. Can we name him, please? <gasps> we can. He is Poe. Yes. Awesome. Start the game with his character. Yes, I would like to. I am pleased. I am pleased. I definitely liked how much more in depth that one was compared to like the DS or the PSP ones. I always kind of wish. Monster Hunter stayed on the PSP, like, over to PS Vita. Because, like, I've always kind of thought Monster Hunter played a little awkward. Well, so much for Poe. <laughs> He's dead. Alright, so this is the tutorial kind of mode. The, um, the graphics look amazing. Alright. Hey, it's you! I'm trying to look what happened to the ship. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, we have to do something. I feel like we're probably gonna climb up it. It's not safe here. This way. 
So I'm trying to figure out like the dash. Do I hold just R1 or kind of hold just hold down L3? I think I can just hold L3. Watch yourself. Hurry. Oh, this is tripping me out now. So I think I can just hold L3, and that's enough to make me run. It's on the ground. We're on a monster. 